I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Wake up, we're I'm Hunter Antal. And I'm Ben Hubbard. Here are your announcements for Friday, November 1st, brought to you by We're Student Media. Happy National Cinnamon Day. After a few days of unseasonably high temperatures near 80 degrees, we'll see more fall-like weather this weekend. There's a chance of rain showers this morning, then sunshine and clouds, with a 20 degree drop from yesterday. Today's high is just 61 degrees, followed by a low of 38, 39. For lunch, we are having cheese pizza, vegetable bean salad, homemade pasta salad, and frozen fruit cup. Happy birthday to everyone celebrating this weekend. There are no birthdays today or tomorrow. On Sunday, Gage Braver and Nicholas Glass. In other news, today is a busy one. At 9 a.m., there will be a send-off for Olivia Derby as they travel to the... WBSSAC Cross Country State Championship. The band and cheerleaders will be dismissed at 8.45 to prep. Please wait for the announcement to have students report to the field house entrance to send them off. Even though it is the last day of donating hurricane relief funds for the National Honor Society, and we're still in a drought, there are still many ways to help the victims of the storms. Follow the We're Care Facebook page for more information. Recycling will be collected during third block today. Teachers, please put your recycling bin outside your classroom this morning. Brook Week is wrapping up. Today is the Beat Brook Pep Rally, being held in the gym at 1, 2, 2, 10. Key Club, a community service organization, is back in with history teacher Miss Stanley as its advisor. Students who want to make a difference in the community, be more involved at school, should attend an informational meeting today after school at 2.30 p.m. in room C219. Contact Ms. Stanley if you are interested but a unable to attend. Quiz bowl practice will begin Wednesday after school in room A201. More many practices will be had on Tuesday. Students interested in participating should plan to attend the first practice next week. If can't, see Ms. Montgomery for more information. Want to put a pie in the eye of your favorite teacher? Now is your chance. From Monday, November 4th through November 25th, Student Council is hosting the annual food drive. Students can help the community by donating the food items listed on screen to the gym lobby every morning between 7 and 7.15 a.m. For each item donated, a student will get a pie piece, which can be given to a teacher or staff member for their pie. The person with the most pies will get duct taped to the wall and receive a pie to the eye for the whole school on November 26th. Teachers, be sure to check your email for more information about how to help make the food drive fun and give students an incentive to donate. Let's give back to our community and to our own students in need. Students should see Mr. Wright in the school counselor's office if in any interested in any opportunities on the screen. Uh -huh. Next, here's your sports info. Good luck to the sports teams competing this weekend. Today, the football team, cheerleaders, and band travel to Brook for the annual rivalry game. And tomorrow, Olivia Shadler and Naomi Young run for the Cross Country State Championship. Now, your fun fact of the day. November is National Peanut Butter Month. Finally, we have today's Wake Up Weird content. Danielle Best, Hannah Dorsey, and Emma Nichols have your sports highlights in this week's Rider Roundup. Good morning, Weir. I'm Danielle Best. And I'm Hannah Dorsey. And here is an overview of the past week. Starting with boys soccer, last they played sectionals against Wheeling Catholic Central. They ended with a score of 0-1, which ended their season. What is your name? Ben Howard. Angela Figlioli. Alex Gaia. Max Wood. Eduardo. And what was the highlight of your soccer career? Probably beating Oak Glen in penalty shootouts on the last kick. The last game that we played. 
I feel like we had a great season. It was real fun. It wasn't like we didn't win a lot, but we had a great time anyway. Probably winning OVACs. It was really nice. I like playing with the guys here. Obviously, it's not the same thing as playing in Brazil, but I had a great season. I liked, I enjoyed the most playing with the guys on the team. It was amazing. And what will you miss the most? My teammates, uh, my coaches, and all in all, just the presence. Definitely the people. Probably the team. Uh, probably the practices, they were pretty fun. I think that the fun stuff we did at practice, it was really nice. Like, we had a lot of fun during practices. Girls soccer play sectionals against Railing Catholic Central, winning 1-0. and zero. They have regionals against East Fairmont. Miley Clevenger. And how was winning sectionals? Really good, really exciting. And how are you and your team preparing for regionals? Working hard, practicing hard. Girls volleyball won sectionals and will host a regional game. Braley Lash. And how was winning sectionals? It was good. I feel like we went in really confident and because we knew who we were playing because we've played Brooke in the past, but we haven't seen North Marion since last year. But we were really prepared going in. And how are you and your team preparing for regionals? We're going to watch a lot of film and study how, like, whoever plays, practice, like, going through stuff to adjust to the other teams. But we're also pretty confident going into regionals. Good night. Cross country ran at Elkins with Olivia Shetler placing 13th and Naomi Young placing 9th. Best of luck to all the sports teams who are wrapping up their seasons. Thanks, girls, and good luck to all the sports teams still competing in the postseason titles. That's a wrap for this week. Have, Have a fantastic, fantastic Friday, we're.